chloride channels open, what happens to the membrane voltage? Hyperpolarization, which means the voltage is getting more negative. Maybe down to minus 90. Still called a graded potential. It can be small, it can be large, it's graded. It can be excitatory, a, a depolarization, it can be inhibitory, a hyperpolarization. And after you depolarize letting sodium in, how do you go back to rest? Repolarization. So once you've gone away from rest, the return back to it is to repolarize. Um, um, what, what's the difference between a graded potential and an actual potential? Lots of differences. Is like an actual potential a type of graded potential? No. Nope. It's different. Different. So what's the difference? Lots. By 15. Are we going to go over it? Oh, yeah. Okay. <coughs> the one I've mentioned so far, where, how, and graded can change in size, action can. But as far as where, where do action potentials occur? In the axons. Axons of neurons and what other cells? <coughs> I wrote an essay on it a few days ago. Surely you know. Where do action potentials occur? Aside from neurons? Thank you. Muscle cells? Right? I hope that's on your answer. Everywhere else, it's, it's a great potential. That's it for action potentials. Axons of neurons. Sarcolemma of cell membranes. And the how? How do you generate and propagate an action potential? What types of channels? Action potentials. What channels? Voltage gated ion channels. Sodium, potassium, even calcium, voltage gated. How about for graded potentials? Or <coughs> mechanically gated, ligand gated, or mechanically gated. So before I wear out your brains with neuro, <laughs> let's spend 40 minutes on muscles. Feel free to grab models. I'll, I'll quiz you as well, but go ahead and get started. I'll let you go for a few minutes first. Smoke the nigger.